Hello lovely people. Today I brought you something again, something fancy. Um, this is a reproduction of a quiver of a, as a bow and arrow and the case for this. These were used on the plains um, by hunt for hunting and for um, warfare and these cases, these quivers were used for storage for the uh, arrows and for the bow. And these were used and were worn during warfare. So um, these are made of leather and sometimes rawhide and the arrows and the uh, quivers were made of also nat natur naturally natural material and um, often everything was glued, the feathers were glued on with uh, uh, hide glue or bone glue. And the problem is with this, these, when these get wet, then it's, it will destroy the arrows and the bow because all these um, uh, layers and so on were, were glued on. So here's a rattles, here was a rattlesnake skin attached to the bow and this was also glued on. So a hunter, long saying short, uh, a hunter would never go hunting in rain because in the old times these glues were not uh, wet, not, not wet re resistant. So, but now to the case. Uh, as, as you see you have the, the uh, two kind of bags here attached. You have this uh, shoulder a strip here and then you have two cases attached. One case is this long one, this is for the bow and this is for the arrows. Sometimes these cases, for this here is a stiff one that has a lot of rawhide inside and it's very stiff, but these uh, arrow cases could also be um, without the rawhide and could be uh, being made flat and, and crinkling and whatever. So you you can uh, wear these here. So and then you see here is a stick. And here the stick is added even because this um, arrow case is also stiff. But the stick is also added. I have another one here from a, a, where you have, a, you can say, a tribal affiliation. It's a reproduction, but they made this uh, arrow case on a soft version of it. So you see the stick here to the red one. Why is that? You have, so like this. When you would not have the, the, the stick, uh, everything would shrink together while wearing and the arrows would fall out. So that's why um, maybe not all, but most of the bows have, or bow cases, have the sticks added. So for adding the, the shoulder strips directly on them or however. So they are normally, all three items are normally attached. And then you have the case for the bow. This always, every bow case is um, soft. And this has a reason. So when you see it here, I tried to show it how much longer it is also in the, in the other end. And when you would take out the bow, then you see that these are collapsible here. And this is making absolutely sense and it is important. When people normally buy an, an, a decoration item for the wall and uh, they always would stiffen these, put, a, put a, a twig or whatever inside because it looks nice on display. But for wearing, these were never stiffened. Um, you have a, a shoulder strip here, so. And when these are worn, these are were not worn like a handbag. Some were like this here or whatever. But the people were wearing them like this about uh, among. Uh, nope. Yeah, there's so many, so many ringes and uh, 
it's difficult to show this while sitting. Yeah. Not too much space here. So, but these bow and arrow cases were worn uh, around both of the shoulder, shoulders, like this. Um, and then it makes absolutely sense to make this bow case collapsible, because when you are trying to get an arrow and try to shoot, you need the space in the back. And this is why th these uh, bow cases were collapsible. So. And <laughs> this here is um, not beaded. It's a style that could be worn on the plains, somewhere on the plains. It has no directly uh, tribal attributes. So this is, is not, you cannot say where this might have be used, which tribe directly used it, because it's um, a very neutral deco decorated item. So it's just central plains, maybe northern plains, maybe plateau could be worked for this. So then even, even the southern plains had similar uh, uh, bow and arrow cases, quivers, but they were decorated a little bit different. So then we have this one here. Here you see a beadwork and this beadwork is classical for, for example, Cheyenne and Arapaho people. Um, this way of beadwork. And so other tribes did different decorations and some tribes even did these uh, quivers in, in, in four, in maybe otter four, for example. And then it could be that they had some, some, some flaps here uh, because the old ancient quivers that were made of, made of four mostly had the tail here on the, on the uh, downside of the opening. So they, what they did was they had the four outside and then they, the, the tail was uh, hanging downside and mostly these items on the, on, the, on the leather side were decorated with beadwork or with um, quill work in the old times. But as I said, it's, uh, there are tribal differences, especially in the beadwork. But the total um, uh, way how they were made, they were always the same in the plains for the plains riding people because it's a, a rider's uh, case, bow and arrow case. And then I have here a picture for you where you can see there are some others uh, this is from an Osage, and Osage, uh, his name was Tali, maybe 1820s, 1840s, and he, you see here, you see his um, bow case around both shoulders worn. I just found this picture, but there are many others. We can look at it, and it's it's made like this. It's not worn somewhere here, whatever. Um, yeah, I hope you learned something new today, and I hope it was a little bit interesting. Uh, if you have questions, then please put it down in the um, comments. And yeah, I would be glad if you if I see you again. Bye.